Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, today we are the 11th June 2020 and we will go as always speaking about the Italian and international sport papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus but before going into detail I want to announce something big, amazing thing so maybe you know, maybe you don't know yet but we are launching today our first, our very first episode of the Juve show you can find us on YouTube, a show where we will talk only about about Juventus past present we will do some games it will be really fun Martina from Juve designer is my uh, partner on that project and today we will have two guests Marcin and Roma Marcin from Top Bin Talks a podcast that I made also with him uh, a few days ago and then we have uh, Roman from Juve Therapy big big Juventino that really knows a lot about uh, Juve so it will be a big big show don't miss it try to go on YouTube the Juve show and uh, you will find us tonight 10 p.m. Italian time then we have the sport papers with uh, Corriere dello Sport they are speaking about Milan that's a big title because Ibrahimovic is not happy with the management he's saying it's not the Milan of the past how can we agree more and then we go to the second title Calcio di Rigore because the Coppa Italia of tomorrow at 9 uh, at 9 p.m what will happen if it finish 1-1 the same result as the first game there will no there will be no extra time but only penalty shootouts so that's what they are saying and then we go to Gazzetta dello Sport because they are also speaking about Milan big tension between Ibrahimovic and the president of Milan but then below you see Vinco Io I win because funny enough the four trainers that are still in Coppa Italia Sarri, Pioli, uh, Gattuso and Conte they never won the Coppa Italia as trainers so the first one to win will also be the first one to uh, win the Coppa Italia and the other ones with zero titles Tutto Sport main news of the day because Tutto Sport is speaking about Zagnolo after all the names that were linked with us Arthur, Giorginio, Verratti a few days ago now they go for Zagnolo and they say Zagnolo, Juve Roma, La Verita, the truth because uh, actually they are uh, writing that on the 5th of June there was an offer by Juventus but it was rejected by Roma the fact that the FFP FIFA financial fair play was actually uh, postponed because of the crisis of uh, financial uh, because of yeah the financial imp impact of coronavirus it gives a bit more breath and brief to uh, Roma so they are actually waiting and they said no to Juventus if someone wants him and if he will be on the market because that's not a d sure decision yet the price tag will be 60 million strategy of Paratici is to wait wait until the end and try to negotiate because i already told you he's the big priority of juventus for this market nicolo zagnolo a big juventino what are they also saying yes that tomorrow uh, cristiano ronaldo dibala and douglas costa should start for juve milan that's about tutto sport and then we have a, a news that i discovered actually yesterday quite quick and i was one of the first one maybe the first one to post it on the social media uh adidas i saw it on a, a specialized uh, sneaker uh online web shop they are actually leaking the information that adidas is working and actually worked already on their new ultra boost limited edition special uh team edition so what they uh did is actually five pairs of new sneakers ultra boost inspired by the third kit's colors so you see that we have arsenal manchester united bayern munich real madrid and juventus that's what you see juventus orange and black so all the rumors about our third kit being orange yes they are now officially confirmed thanks to that leak there are no dubs anymore it will be orange and black what else can we see on the pictures because if we do a bit of focus you see the logo the j without stars without name just the double j uh, on the the front of the shoe and that's something quite nice because if you see all the other shoes with their logo you can't immediately especially because they don't have the colors of the club but the third kids color you cannot identify really quickly from what team it is but then you see the double g from juventus and it's something really crazy because you immediately know it's juventus and that was one of the goals 
of Agnelli and of Juventus when we launched the logo. So it is working absolutely yes. You see the front, you see the side, you see the back, especially on the back you have the name written Juventus. That most of the time if you are wearing a jeans it's covered but if you have shorts in the summer you will not uh, you will be able to see also the name of the team in the back. Yesterday Sarri spoke with uh, Sky, Sky Sport Italia and he made a big, quite big interview when he, where he covered a lot of topics. I will not go through all of them but I took four main news that are important to speak about today together with you. First one is the risk of injury. So he's, he is saying that it's quite high since there has been muscle decline for everyone. They try to adapt uh, the way they train. It's not the same as when they start a new summer uh, season in the summer. So they slightly adapted it. And if you if you are following already my channel a week or two ago, I said my big big fear are injuries, and we already start to seeing it because. Chiellini, Ramsey, uh, Demiral was already injured, uh, Higuain, they're all four with slight injuries. Uh, so yeah, it can be a big problem. That's the first thing I totally agree with Sarri. The second thing he's saying is about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo on the field because he's saying it's quite difficult to let him coexist with Dybala. Both players are difficult to play, but they are so great and so talented that he wants to find a way. And he said the rest of the team has to work harder to find a way to support those big talents. So third news about Mr. Miralem Pjanic. And now we see that uh, Sarri is saying, I found Pjanic much better than uh, when I left him. He must be convinced that he's a great player, that he can make a mistake in a game or two, but then he rises his head and does not lose confidence and conviction. So he said, yeah, we can, you can lose focus for one or two games, that can happen to anybody, but not for five, uh, five or six games in a row. That's really difficult for a player as Pjanic. So he's admitting what all the supporters were saying, that Pjanic had a real difficult time. A lot of uh, uh, journal papers, television are saying that uh, for the game of tomorrow, Ben Tancur will start with uh, Pjanic on the bench. I recommend it in one of my dedicated videos. I said, Sarri, pay attention if possible. If you want to go to people management and you don't want to lose Pjanic, let him start. Maybe, and I say maybe, Sarri is watching my channel. Maybe he's one of the subscribers, maybe he listened to me because for the first time he gave trust in Pjanic and that was actually what I was asking him to do. Give him trust. Even if he go away next season, give him trust. We cannot play with only Bentancur because uh, Ramsey is injured. Kedira will come back, but how long? We don't know. Um, Rabiot is not a starter anymore. Ra Matuidi will have his uh, uh, spot in the 11. So. Let's see, I bet that Pjanic will start tomorrow. Maybe with Bentancur on the right, maybe Bentancur on the bench, let's see, but I bet Pjanic will start. And then we have the last news, the fourth news, because he's giving a lot of nice words to Sami Kedira. He's saying Kedira is a footballer of extraordinary reali reliability and intelligence, both as human and in football. Obviously will not be at top, although he has grown a lot, but a coach cannot do without him. So also Sarri, as low, as Allegri and as all the coaches Sami Khedira had in his career, Sarri is saying Sami Khedira is fundamental. He is a player that we cannot put on the bench. He's a player we have to play. So. Strange, really strange because that goes against the opinion of all the fans. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As we always say, spread the word with the English speaking community. Subscribe, like and put some comments. What do you think about all the topics that we covered today? Thank you. Grazie. Forza. Juve.